All right, continuing from our last example, uh, where we set the symbology of the layer, we will now be doing a dissolve on the data. Uh, the reason for this being is that this data set is comprised of all the different roadways in the area uh, rated by the road name and their uh, rating. Uh, what I'd like to show you is the cursor inquiry tool, which is over here on the toolbox. It's the little eye with the blue background called identify. And once you have that tool selected, um, you can click on a feature in the map and get a piece of information about it, which shows up here. In this case, we have FID, which is feature ID, shape, polyline, object ID, and all this other stuff. Uh, as you can see, we have street name, Lehigh Station, and we have a rating for that street name, which is fair. But if you notice, when I click on that, I'm not getting the whole extent of Lehigh Station that is, in fact, of rating fair. There's multiple pieces to this single contiguous line. Um, so the way we would like to optimize this data set and get rid of redundant data pieces is to use the Dissolve tool. Uh, the Dissolve tool is under Data Management, Generalization, Dissolve and you just double click on it to run the module. So once the module is open, you have an input and output features class box. The input features class allows you to choose a layer from the data set. In this case, we only have one layer open, which is the bike suitability ratings. So you select that input layer. It'll load that layer and then extract all the metadata fields. And in this case, what we're really looking at is rating. We're interested in a piece of road of a single rating but we're also interested in the full street name. So now if we have those two features selected, what it will do is it'll take every piece of road that is of rating, let's say, good in this example, on a given road name, and as long as they are contiguous, it'll combine them into one uh, continuous line instead of being multiple short lines. This will greatly reduce the size of the data set and allow it to be uh, smaller and loaded easier eventually into Google Earth. Um, there are other options like statistic fields and other things like that uh, which we really don't need to mess with. So as you can see it shows a, a default output for us so it adds underscore and diso dissolve to show you the operation that was performed on the layer. And the number one indicates that there's already a previous file with the name bike suitability ratings diso which I completed earlier. So you simply run the module and you will get this analysis screen and it completed successfully so we can close that module and you now can see that the bike suitability ratings is visible on top of our previous layer so we can turn the previous layer off for now and in this one we have to adjust the symbology once again so that it's uh, proper and we'll do it once again by rating uh, adjust the color ramp back to default change null to a background color and apply the symbology and we have a map that should look largely the same as the previous map because it is only the data set is uh, more optimized so now using the cursor inquiry tool I'll look at the same piece of row we were looking at before and when I click on it you can see that the entire extent of Lehigh Station Road of rating fair is now one piece instead of being four pieces like it was previously and now the entire extent of Lehigh Station Road that's poor is poor, and so on. Uh, so this leads to a much optimized data set. It's, uh, I think, one order of magnitude smaller in terms of pieces than the previous one, and it makes your life easier to work with, and it makes it a smaller file for importing and exporting.